Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh once again and today I will be doing a very special battery discharge speed test in between these four awesome devices. Let me introduce these phones one by one. On the left, I have the all new OnePlus 60. The device next is the OnePlus 6, the outgoing OnePlus model and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and last but not the least we have the Apple iPhone XS Max. Now one of the important improvements on the new OnePlus 60 is the bigger 3700 mAh lithium polymer battery. I mean the battery of OnePlus 6 was already good, it's 3300 mAh but the battery management of OnePlus devices are one of the best in class. Now the Galaxy Note 9 packs the biggest battery here 4000 mAh lithium ion and the costliest iPhone XS Max packs just a 3174 mAh lithium ion battery. But don't just go with the numbers on paper, but the battery management of this XS Max is godlike. I'm getting about 2 days of backup. So this video is going to be very interesting since we have the OnePlus 60 with a much bigger battery. All these phones are charged to 100% and it's worth mentioning, Galaxy Note 9 is still running on Android Oreo 8.1 whereas OnePlus 6 as well as 60 are upgraded to Android Pi 9.0. The iOS version on the iPhone is 12.1. I have set the same wallpaper and also the same brightness. There is no SIM card installed, Wi-Fi as well as location are turned on. Some smart features have been disabled to make the test fair and also the screen resolution of Note 9 is the default Full HD+. It's also the Exynos variant and the RAM of Note 9 as well as the OnePlus devices are 6GB. Now let's turn off the screens and the first thing I will measure is the screen off time. I will come back after 8 hours and take the battery readings. Stay tuned. So guys, it has been 7 hours, so let's check OnePlus 60 which is now at 90% battery level, so 10% battery loss in 8 hours of screen off time, that means about just 80 hours of screen off standby time. There you have OnePlus 6 at 97% that is just 3% battery loss, about 267 hours of standby time which is quite good. Next we have the Note 9 which is now at 94% 6% loss, 133 hours of screen off time. Lastly there is iPhone XS Max which is at well 100%. The thing is iPhones stick to 100% battery charge for a while. Maybe there is some reserve battery to give you an impression of longer battery life. So the result is indecisive, but I am somewhat disappointed with the OnePlus 60. For some reason the battery is draining in standby mode, though there was no app running in the background. Let's not draw the conclusion right now, wait till the end. The next thing I want to measure is the screen on time, that is I will keep the screens on for about 2 hours. Friends I am back, so let's start with the OnePlus 60. Another 10% battery loss in 2 hours of screen on time, so that means you can get a maximum of 20 hours of screen on time when you have no app running in the background or on screen. It's not bad at all. OnePlus 6 on the other hand lost 13% battery, so the screen on time is about 15 hours and 23 minutes. Galaxy Note 9 with the biggest battery is down from 94% to 81%, 13% loss, 15 hours and 23 minutes of screen on time. And lastly we have the iPhone XS Max, it's currently at 84%, 16% battery loss, 12 and a half hours of screen on time possible. So the battery loss in the standby mode must be included here, but still it's at the highest battery level. Now the next test will be on YouTube video playback. I will play some YouTube videos for about 30 minutes and measure the battery drop. This is my new Hindi channel Gadgets Portal Hindi which is available at youtube.com slash Gadgets Portal Hindi. The link is in the description below. I will come back after half an hour. Friends 30 minutes have passed. Let's quickly check the battery status. 
So OnePlus 60 is down from 80% to 77%, just 3% battery loss after half an hour of YouTube video playback, that is awesome. At this rate, you can expect 16 hours and 40 minutes of video playback. OnePlus 6 lost 5%, so 10 hours of video playback. And Galaxy Note 9 is down from 81 to 77, so 12 and half hours of video playback possible with a full charge. Last but not the least, iPhone XS Max lost 4%, so again 12 and half hours of YouTube video watching. Currently, iPhone XS Max is leading at 80% battery level, followed by OnePlus 6 at 79, then OnePlus 60 and Note 9 both at 77%. Next, let's compare the battery drop in video recording. I will record the videos in 1080p at 30fps for about 20 minutes. I will come back shortly, stay tuned. Guys, I am back so let's quickly check the battery status. After 20 minutes of video recording, OnePlus 60 lost 6%. So with a full charge, up to 5 hours and 33 minutes of video recording is possible, which is actually quite good. OnePlus 60 with the smaller battery lost 8%, so 4 hours and 10 minutes of video recording. Next Note 9 is at 69%, so again 8% battery loss, 4 hours and 10 minutes of video recording. The battery drain on the Apple flagship is also 6%, so 5 hours and 33 minutes of recording possible with a full charge. So it's still in the leading position, followed by OnePlus 60 and OnePlus 6, so OnePlus 60 is catching up, Note 9 with the biggest battery is draining the battery most. Now it's gaming time, so let's start with PUBG Mobile, I will play this game for about 2 hours and take the battery readings. All set, so I will come back after 2 hours of hardcore gameplay. Guys, I am back, let's quickly check the temperature of the phones, iPhone seems quite cool, it's at 36 degrees Celsius max, Note 9 is at 39, so not that much hot, OnePlus 6 is also slightly hot, it's at 40 degrees Celsius but no overheating of course, and there you have 60 at 37 degrees Celsius. So it's slightly cooler than OnePlus 6, but the heat management of the iPhone XS Max is the best, so is the battery management. So after 2 hours of PUBG Mobile gameplay, OnePlus 60 is down from 71 to 45%, 26% battery loss, so at this rate about 7 hours and 42 minutes of gameplay possible. OnePlus 60 was also at 71%, now 37%, so 34% battery loss, 5 hours and 53 minutes of gameplay. Next we got Note 9 at 33, 36% is lost, 5 hours and 33 minutes of PUBG Mobile gameplay possible with a full charge. Last but not the least, there is this iPhone XS Max at 48%, 26% loss, just like OnePlus 60, so 7 hours and 42 minutes is the gameplay time. So this time OnePlus 60 did much better than OnePlus 6. Next let's play another game, it's Asphalt 9. Guys Asphalt 9 is on for about 1 hour, so let's check the battery drain. OnePlus 60 is at 34%, 11% loss, so 9 hours and 5 minutes of maximum gameplay time with a full charge. On the other hand, OnePlus 6 is down to 22% from 37, 15% loss and 6 hours and 40 minutes of gameplay time. Note 9 lost 19% battery level which should be the highest, so 5 hours and 16 minutes of gameplay time is possible. Last but not the least, iPhone XS Max which is doing the best here is down from 48% to 35, 13% lost, so 7 hours and 42 minutes is the maximum gameplay time. Let's play another game, it's Pokemon Go this time and it should be the last game I will play today. Let's wait for Note 9 to die. Guys, the Samsung Note 9 just died, the LED is still on, there you go, it's off and Let's check the battery status of the other three devices. OnePlus 60 still has 20% battery left despite having a smaller battery and with this battery level you can easily use this phone for about half a day. 
On the other hand, OnePlus 6 is about to die just at 4% battery level. And lastly, we have iPhone XS Max at 21%, so very close to OnePlus 60. So at lower battery levels, this iPhone is not doing as good or in other way OnePlus 60 is doing better when the battery level is down. It's now time for OnePlus 6 to die. I will be back shortly. After about 17 minutes OnePlus 6 also died and it could manage to play this game for about 1 hour and 28 minutes. OnePlus 60 also lost 4% so it's at 16% battery level and the battery inside this phone is about 12% bigger than that OnePlus 6 iPhone XS Max is at 18% battery level, so it's still in the leading position and it's gonna be iPhone vs OnePlus 60 at the end, stay tuned. Guys we have the winner, it's not the OnePlus 60, it's the iPhone XS Max, though I had big hopes for this phone. Let's quickly check the battery level of the iPhone right now, it's 6% so despite having the smallest battery on paper, in real life scenario iPhone XS Max has the best battery backup. So don't just go with specs or numbers, with 4GB of RAM, iPhone also offers the best RAM management and the user interface is also the fastest here. So despite all the hate, I cannot but say iPhone XS Max is the best phone in the world. OnePlus 60 also did pretty well in fact, you can buy 3 of these phones with the price of this iPhone, so considering the price point, OnePlus 60 is one of the best phones you can go for. The battery backup is almost as good as this 1 lakh 10,000 rupees phone. That's all I have for you in this very long battery discharge speed test. I hope that it was informative. If you liked my effort, you can subscribe to this channel. The Galaxy S9 Plus I have on my right is inferior to the Note 9, so I did not include this in this speed test. Thanks a lot for watching. See you on my next video.